With so many incredible and full-on unbelievable places as there are to explore on our planet, there are just as many mind-blowing animals, maybe more. Sometimes it can feel like nature is taking its cues from the minds of someone with a big imagination, or that all the alien animals we need already exist right here on Earth. But after you look at these next videos, you'll see 15 shocking creatures that are not from this planet. <laughs> Number 15. Fish with Claws At first look at this unusual fish-themed TikTok video, you're probably thinking, wow, that fish has claws like a crab, but when you get a closer look, your second thought might be something isn't right here. Fish aren't supposed to have pincers like a crab. That observation brings about another question, what if an unknown species actually did? Behold, the fish crab, a hybrid of two different species. In biology, a hybrid is the offspring resulting from combining the qualities of two organisms of different breeds, varieties, species, or genus through sexual reproduction. Hybrids are not always intermediates between their parents, such as in blending inheritance, but can show hybrid vigor, sometimes growing larger or taller than either parent. In genetics, attention is focused on the numbers of chromosomes. In taxonomy, a key question is how closely related the parent species are. Whatever gave birth to this bizarre mashup certainly was in no way related. This genetic mixing may threaten many species with extinction, and this fish crab has no time for this person with the paddle. It almost looks as if the fish is just holding these crab legs like a weapon. That's way more believable but still unsettling. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Any underwater exploration would be immediately over if this shocking creature came swimming past the observation window. It looks like some sort of giant mutant version of a leatherback turtle. The leatherback's favorite food is jellyfish, and they're well adapted for attacking and guzzling such gooey grub. Firstly, two sharp cusps on their upper jaw allow them to pierce and hold on to their squishy prey. Then, backward pointing spines lining the leatherback's throat hold the doomed jellyfish in place as it passes to the turtle tummy. Gulp, this mystery creature, however, likely eats whatever it wants. Hopefully, it's not ocean explorers. Do you think something like this could actually call the ocean deep home? We've only explored about 20% of the sea, so maybe. On the other hand, maybe this beast is some sort of alien species we haven't discovered. What do you think? Use the comments below to share your ideas and use the hashtag open discussion to be heard. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Gyriel. The oldest known depictions of this strange animal are about 4,000 years old. The Gyriel is native to northern India and Nepal and lives in and around rivers. Hindus regard it as the embodiment of a river deity. Local people living near rivers attributed mystical and healing powers to the Gyriel and used them as ingredients of indigenous healing medicine. It's a reptile in the crocodile order that some strange features compared to its relatives. Its jaws are very long and very slender. In addition, the mature male has a large, bulbous, and hollow protuberance at the end of its snout. This structure is called a gara or garo. Males use them to vocalize and blow bubbles during mating displays. They generally only leave the water to bask in the sun or to nest. This is how they regulate their body temperature by basking in the heat to warm up or resting in shade or water to cool down. The mouth contains rows of small and very sharp teeth. Though the animal looks fierce, especially when its mouth is open, it's not dangerous to humans unless it's threatened. Sadly, the wild Gario population has declined drastically since the 1930s and is limited to only 2% of its historical range today. Number 13. Finger Monkeys did you know a monkey this small could actually exist? These baby finger monkeys can climb your finger like a tree. As the name implies, these adorable animals are true monkeys. They're also sometimes referred to as thumb monkeys, pocket monkeys, and little lions, the latter due to the fur that surrounds their heads like a mane. They're the smallest species of monkey and one of the smallest primates in the world. They live high in the treetops of South American rainforests. All marmosets are relatively small, but the finger monkey grows to no longer than 6.2 inches, not including its tail, which can measure up to 9 inches. Finger monkeys are social creatures that in the wild live in small groups, generally made up of an adult male, adult female, and their offspring. The groups range from as few as two to as many as nine or ten individuals. These allow them to support themselves vertically on trees while using 
their long, narrow teeth to feed on sap. Finger monkeys also consume the resin, gum, and vines of trees. Small insects, butterflies, spiders, and fruit round out their diet. Even weirder, they can rotate their heads up to 180 degrees to scan for danger and leap up to 16 feet to escape it. The way this monkey moves and climbs is similar to that of a squirrel you might see in your local park. Number 12. Emerald Boa Ever seen a snake yawn? Those teeth are something else. Emerald boas are non-venomous snakes, however, it's advisable to keep a safe distance from them anyway, since they have extremely long front teeth which they usually utilize to catch their prey. But these snakes are a tree-dwelling species, spending most of their time high up in the foliage. They are found in lowland tropical rainforests of South America, up to 6 feet long. Emerald tree boas are nocturnal ambush hunters. They lie in wait on a branch above the ground, waiting to strike at any unsuspecting small rodents that walk beneath them. They're able to pick up tiny temperature differences between prey and background. Nerve signals feed into the visual system, so the boa sees a heat image. Snakes with heat sensors can detect, from a distance, temperature differences as small as a few thousandths of a degree. The two halves of the lower jaw are connected by fibrous tissues that can stretch 20 to 30 times their resting length. This allows the mouth to open wide enough to consume large prey. They're carnivores that eat birds and small mammals, including rats, bats, squirrels, lizards, and even monkeys. The young will also eat small reptiles and amphibians. Number 11. Gooey Ducks this hefty saltwater clam is native to very specific regions, the Pacific Northwest, where U.S. consumption is most prevalent, and the western coast of Canada. Yeah, people eat them. The massive shellfish is highly prized in Japan, Korea, and China too, where it's considered an aphrodisiac. The gooey duck is every bit as out of the ordinary as its unique name suggests. This bizarre-looking shellfish has become a food media darling with appearances on shows such as Top Chef and Chopped. The anatomy of a gooey duck, the world's largest burrowing clam, is fairly simple. In addition to the neck hanging out of the shell, it has a meaty part, called a mantle or breast, inside the shell. While the shell rarely grows larger than 8 inches, the soft body can be over 3 feet long and the mollusk has a significantly long lifespan, even reaching over 165 years old. The immense enthusiasm for the gooey duck in the Pacific Northwest and beyond proves that while the mollusk may not be the prettiest of them all, it certainly has flavor worth raving about. Do you think this is something you'd like to dine on? Gooey duck comes at a high price, the sought-after delicacy is sold in U.S. markets for $20 to $30 a pound. Number 10. Sea Sapphires One second, a sea sapphire shimmers brightly with color, and then, poof, it disappears before your eyes, known as the most beautiful animal you've never seen. But how do they pull off their trick? This tiny crustacean has alternating layers of hexagonal crystals and cytoplasm on its back that reflect light in a sparkling array of hues. The color is determined by the distance between the crystals and the angle at which the light hits them. The flashes of color they produce help them stand out from the endless blue and vary by the depth each species prefers. Scientists think their colorful displays help mating partners find each other. Another surprising find? Only males display this unusual effect. Female sea sapphires are exclusively translucent, meaning they're rarely, if ever, visible to the human eye. They're very small, too. The rice of the sea, tiny shrimp-like animals at the base of the ocean food chain. But they're a great example of the wildly strange life forms you would never guess exist on this planet. And they're found both in the ocean and in nearly every freshwater habitat. But what separates this genius from others is an explosion of beautiful, shimmering color. Number 9. Leopard Seal If you ever end up on the ocean near Antarctica, you may be lucky enough to cross paths with this unique seal while you're there. These amazing animals are wonderful to observe both in and out of the water, and they're a coveted part of the polar wildlife experience. The specialized, streamlined body shape of these mammals is excellent for propelling them through the water at speeds of up to 25 miles an hour. Leopard seals are potentially aggressive animals that will always be keeping an eye out for the next meal, even if that means feeding on land, and they don't play well with others. Generally, they hunt alone, and killer whales are currently the only recognized predator to leopard seals, yet oddly enough, sometimes they smile. The ends of the leopard seal's mouth are permanently curled upward, creating the illusion of a smile or a menacing grin. And they sing. During the breeding season, 
Both sexes of leopard seals become extremely vocal. Their vocalizations consist of local calls and long-distance broadcast calls. Since leopard seal population densities are low due to their solitary lifestyles, finding a mate can be difficult. Female leopard seals, the larger of the two sexes, can reach weights of 1,300 pounds and grow to lengths of up to 10 feet. Number 8. Banana slugs. These slimy slugs live in the moist forests of the USA's Pacific Northwest from Central California into Alaska. They're slow and strange, and their best attribute is, you guessed it, they're slime. It would take a vast amount of water to produce slime constantly. As a result, the banana slug has a novel adaptation that makes the slug's environment do much of the heavy lifting. Banana slugs dispense dry granules of mucus, which then absorb surrounding water. A granule can absorb several hundred times its volume in water, helping the slug create maximum lubrication with minimum exertion. They use slime to clean themselves. Debris that sticks to the slug's body can be moved backward to the tail, where the slug will turn around and eat it. Banana slugs have a mouth on the bottom of their head, with a top jaw for clamping or cleaving, and like all mollusks, except bivalves, a sharp-toothed tongue called a radula that grinds food and moves it toward the stomach. The banana slug has two sets of tentacles. Like almost all air-breathing gastropods, it has two small eye spots at the top of upper tentacles which can move independently to scan for danger. The bottom two tentacles are for feeling and smelling both senses far more honed in the slug than its limited sense of vision. Number 7. Giant Tube Worms these giant hydrothermal vent tube worms aren't called extremophiles for no reason. They live in extreme environments. Colonies of these tube worms live on hydrothermal vents spewing hot, mineral-rich water that in some places can reach an astounding 660 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only do these worms live where few other organisms dare go, but they also have a unique body plan and way of life. Instead of feeding like most other animals, these worms depend on symbiotic bacteria inside them that convert the hydrogen sulfide, carbonates, and hydrocarbons, depending on the mineral content of the water, from the vent water into organic compounds for energy. It's like how plants convert the sun's energy to nutrition, only it's chemically based, called chemosynthesis. Perhaps the most noticeable characteristic of these worms is their bright red plume. The bright red color comes from the presence of large amounts of blood. It's the plume that provides nutrients to the bacteria that live inside the worm. The outer tube of the worm is made from a tough, natural substance called chitin. Although the worms have no eyes, they can sense movement and vibrations and will retreat into their protective tubes when threatened. Number 6. African Lungfish this fish species has a unique body and fins and is widespread in South America, Africa, as well as Australia. What's more surprising is that these fish have been on Earth since the Triassic period and survived for nearly 400 million years. They're sometimes also called living fossils. The name lungfish comes from the presence of an arrangement that acts like lungs for these fish, making it easier for them to breathe in air and adapt without water. The fish can hibernate for years without it. Most fish would be left high and dry during drought periods when their bodies of water that inhabit shrink and disappear. But African lungfish aren't most fish. They're air breathers, relying on gills that interact with functional lungs to provide their oxygen. But when temperatures heat up and their watery habitats disappear, they respond by tunneling underground and generating a leathery enclosure that retains moisture but still allows enough airflow around their bodies for them to keep breathing. Process, they slow down their biological clock relinquishing the normal need for sustenance and surviving in a very low energy state. They're also capable of breathing air and living out of water for long periods of time below dried riverbeds in their own little burrows made of hardened mud. Number 5. Octopus Recently, a group of 33 scientists worldwide published a paper suggesting, in all seriousness, that octopuses may indeed be aliens. Octopuses are strange, smart creatures that certainly seem alien. They've got tentacles, camouflage, and shape-shifting skills. The octopus evolved about 500 million years ago, but that doesn't explain how these odd cephalopods got all their awesome characteristics or why octopuses are so very different, genetically speaking, from their ancestors. Its large brain and sophisticated nervous system, camera-like eyes, flexible bodies, instantaneous camouflage via the ability to switch color and shape are just a few of the striking features that appear suddenly on the evolutionary scene. The modern octopus trait sets it apart from any other animal. Octopuses have one centralized brain and the rest is distributed through each arm. In terms of brain-to-body ratio, the octopus has the largest ratio of any invertebrate. 
This intelligence goes far beyond simply moving through mazes or opening jars. Octopuses are some of the only invertebrates to use tools. Plus, they're often mischievous. They've been reported spitting jets of water to short out aquarium lights that were bothering them and even sneaking into other tanks for a midnight snack. Number 4 Alien Suckerfish A fisherman shared a video of an unusual suction cup fish that he caught that he can stick to walls. The TikToker caught the lumpfish while he was out at sea and decided to film it. Lumpfish are also known as lump suckers. This is because of a centrally located suction disc near their pelvic fins. The disc helps them to suck or stick onto surfaces. They're quite cute and adorable creatures with their bright colors and short rounded fins, but little is known about the behavior of lumpfish in the wild. It's known that they're mostly solitary but non-aggressive creatures. The lumpfish is a type of migratory fish found living between the ocean floor and the shallow beaches. Generally, they prefer shallower waters at night and the seabed during the day. Their main meal consists of parasites and ice. They're also known to eat parasites off other fish like salmon. This makes them an ideal pesticide for farmers who harvest salmon. Their main predators include seals, sperm whales, and sharks. The eggs of these fish, known as caviar, are widely eaten as a delicacy. A lumpfish pet will be friendly and non-aggressive additions to one's family. However, lumpfish prefer to live in the cold waters of the North Atlantic. Number 3. Chupacabra this creature is among the most popular of the mystery beasts, an integral part of the southern USA and Latin folklore, and a semi-regular guest star in sensational cable documentaries and credulous local news reports alike. For years, legends of the blood-sucking monster have been passed on, fueled by a succession of alleged carcasses, sightings, and tall tales. Has this mythical creature actually been caught on tape? It's debatable. What does El Chupacabra look like? That depends upon whom you ask. Some say it's a heavy creature about the size of a small bear. They describe a row of spikes along its back. They claim it hops like a kangaroo and has long fangs. Others say it's a much smaller wolf-like creature with no hair. The chupacabra got its name from the Spanish words chupar, to suck, and cabra, which means goat. Believers say the monster acts like a vampire. They claim it drinks the blood of livestock. The first reported sightings were in Puerto Rico in 1995. Researchers believe these sightings of chupacabra were actually dogs or coyotes infested with a parasite that, as a result, would cause them to lose their hair. They would also grow thicker skin and smell really bad and look even scarier. Number 2. Mummy Mermaid Researchers are investigating the origins of a nightmarish 300-year-old mummified mermaid which has been worshipped for centuries due to its supposed medicinal properties. They discovered the mermaid mummy, which is around 12 inches long, inside a box at a temple in Japan after finding a picture of the bizarre specimen in an encyclopedia of mythical creatures. A fisherman supposedly caught the specimen sometime between 1736 and 1741, and he subsequently sold it to an effluent family according to a note left inside the mummy's box. But researchers still don't know exactly how the mermaid ended up inside the temple. The mermaid mummy somewhat resembles two mythical creatures from Japanese folklore. Amabias, mermaids with beaks instead of mouths and three distinct tail fins, and ningyos, which are fish-like creatures with human heads. Both of these types of creatures have been associated with stories of miraculous health cures and increased longevity, but the haunting remains are most likely a gruesome amalgam of a monkey's torso sold into a fish's tail, potentially embellished with hair and nails from a human. These fake mermaids were likely created by local people to sell to curious tourists. Number 1 Star-Nosed Mole Despite looking like something out of a science fiction novel, the mole's weird snout actually plays a vital role in its survival. Meet the Star-Nosed Mole. Hidden within its unique mouth organ are over 100,000 nerve fibers. That's five times more than the amount found on the human hand, all contained within a space no bigger than your fingertip. Whenever its nose touches the soil, a mental image is created, allowing the mole to piece together a picture of where they are. Because the mole's eyes are pretty well useless, it relies on its nerve-filled appendage to navigate the world around it. The star-nosed mole's most important feature is its sense of touch. The star-nosed mole has modified front teeth that form the equivalent of a pair of tweezers that are used to pluck tiny prey from the ground. It can locate, identify, and devour its food in a mere 227 milliseconds. The moles have heavily clawed arms that allow them to quickly dig through the earthy habitats of their prey. Once they've uncovered their next meal, their unusual tweezer-shaped teeth get to work. Native to the eastern parts of North America, it snuffles through the tunnels that it carves with its sturdy front claws. 
Can you believe we share this planet with such unbelievable creatures? There seems to be no end to what surprises the animal kingdom offer us. So like and subscribe since you love the nature world so much. And don't go anywhere, there are more great videos on the way.